Of course, you know, it's always a disappointment when the season we've had, you know, following last season, it's, we expected a lot more. That's it. You know, we can't, we can't get away from that fact. But, um, you know, the season's, we're only in November still. Um, you know, there's, there's every opportunity for the club to still climb the table, and I firmly believe they will. So, um, you know, from a personal point of view, yeah, disappointed this season. Um, but I believe in, in, in Michael, and, and I'm sure he's going to do, do well for the team. I think over the last few weeks, you know, the results have not been good enough. Um, and it's affected me as a person. I think, you know, I've, I care about the club deeply. And, you know, I found it very difficult to walk away from here on a Saturday evening and, and distance myself from, from the disappointment. And I've taken that home to my, to my family. And uh, it's been very difficult um, for them as well as me. So I think the decision was made before Saturday. I think, um, as I say, you know, the... My family deserve a lot better um, than what I've been giving them of late, and, and that was the, ultimately the decision I had to make. So, um, you know, as disappointed as I am, the support that we've received as as, as players and as as management team for, from the supporters this season throughout a terrible run has, has been phenomenal. Um, they've stuck by us, and you know, I'm just deeply in regret really that I couldn't repay them this season. I think to to have walked away and and to have you know gone from the club completely would have been unthinkable from my point of view I've been at the club 16 years now as a player coach and manager um, and you know that that's something that I'll always be very proud of and I'm still still going to be taking part with the, with the academy um, and I'm sure there'll be other roles as well around the club that, that I'll be fulfilling so uh, you know it's 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 still involvement for me but you know ultimately um, we're all here to try and serve the first team and, and, and that's what I'll still be doing. Uh, it's very difficult to put your finger on it. I think, you know, in certain performances in the league have been very good. We've just had, not had the rub of the green or we've been unlucky in certain areas. Um, in, other, in other games, we've not been good enough. So, you know, the cup games we've had in the FA Cup, we've performed very well in every game. Um, even losing at Cambridge, I felt we deserved something from the game. But, um, you know, I think Saturday's, Saturday's results sort of epitomise everything that, that's happened this season. I don't think the opposition had a shot and goal in the whole game and we've managed to lose 1-0 through an own goal from a cross. Um, and I, I, I believe we were the better side and, and that was you know summed up a lot of what our season's been about so it's very hard to put your finger on it um, but you know we, we've, we've been working hard and I know Michael will get the boys continue to work hard and, and I'm sure they're going to come through the other side of this I, I personally do um, I've worked with him now for three years nearly um, and he's I think it's three years this month and, and you know he's been fantastic for the club an absolute breath of fresh air coming in I think he's brought professionalism to the place to the players um, I've learned an awful lot from him and you know there's a lot of things that he, I'm sure he's sure now to, to improve himself and to put his own stamp on things and I'm sure there'll be a, a couple of changes um, but I've got every belief and 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 confidence that he's going to turn things around for us. Yeah I think with, with Michael he's, he's got some fantastic ideas um, he'll always test me and it, you know he's always giving me opinions um, ultimately it's down to me at the end of the day to to decide whether they're the, the, the right thing that I believe um, but I genuinely believe he's he's ready for management I genuinely believe he's going to flourish in it and you know and and, and really stamp his mark um, and as I say, I, I genuinely believe that he's going to turn things around for us. I think obviously, you know, looking at the table, we've, we've got to get out of the bottom three, first and foremost. Um, the sooner we do that, then, we, then obviously there, there'll be a chance to reevaluate. Um, we've got some good games coming up, some big games coming up. So, you know, I think around January time, we'll obviously have to, to look again at where we're at. Um, but I'm sure, you know, Michael will be just focusing on, on getting out of that bottom three to start with and then and then building from there and, and looking to finish as high of the league as possible. Cool. I think for the club in general, they've been fantastic. For me personally, you know, I've been here 16 years, 10 years as a player. Um, you know, I've given everything to the club. And to be fair, I feel that I feel the support in the club given everything to me as well. So, you know, there's a very special relationship there. And, you know, I'd like to thank the fans personally for, for sticking by me. I think, you know, the, the patience could have wolfed in this season with some of the results we've had and the run we've been on. But... Uh, you know the, the, the support they've given me has been unbelievable, very overwhelming actually. Um, and I'm not going to lie, you know, I've had a tear in my eye on Saturday, knowing that that was going to be my last game. And um, you know, they, they deserve some success. And and you know, if it wasn't going to be me that was going to bring it to them this season, it needed to be someone else. And, and that was a decision I made. So um, you know, I urge them to stick behind the team, to stick behind Michael, and, and stick with the club, and and, and really help themselves um, pick themselves up and get off the foot of the table.